all that matters is cars, guys. And you're on the channel. Well, here we go, guys. This is the official Ramsey reveal. Hey, thanks for pressing play. And I hope you guys enjoyed last week's episode when we were what? Hunting for hoopies. Well, we found one, guys. And uh, this is the formal reveal for Ramsey, my 2013 Dodge Ram 1500 Laramie Edition. So stick around, cars, guys. Hey, Cars Guys, JT here, and I just gave you a kind of a pan and scan view at my uh, newly acquired 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. So uh, this is the uh, 5.7 liter Hemi engine in it, guys, and it's uh, it's a Ram, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Hey, this is the uh, formal reveal of uh, Ramsey. So uh, there he is. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, last week's episode where we took Pop out with us and uh, we were both kind of, in effect, hunting for hoopties. Me a hoopty and uh, Pop a 2017 C7 Corvette Z06 uh, with the uh, 3LZ package. Uh, kind of funny watching Pop uh, fumble through those gears. Uh, he got the hang of it though and I'm, I'm sure he could after a while if he actually bought the car. Hey, uh, we got a Hemi on the channel now, guys, and we're gonna take advantage of this uh, beautiful day today and uh, try to get you some uh, actual better footage of Ramsey and uh, formally reveal and introduce you guys, Cars Guys Nation, to uh, 2013 Dodge Ram 5.7 liter Hemi, guys. So, hey, stick around. We're gonna jump in Ramsey and uh, we're gonna go out and about and uh, get some pictures. See you soon. JT back here with you. And uh, we're gonna, we're in uh, Ramsey here, and uh, I'll throw my seatbelts on, guys, and we're gonna, while this sun is still up, man, you kinda, you kinda hate the uh, change of the season. I mean, it's beautiful out. The uh, autumn leaves are uh, yellow and orange and red and beautiful out, but uh, we lose so much daylight. I mean, here it is uh, 3.40 p.m., and uh, within an hour and a half, it'll be uh, pretty much dark, guys, so, uh, Without any further ado, let's uh, dial Ramsey in. It's so cool. I'll show you guys when we get uh, out to a, a better location. But uh, the uh, actual shifter is a dial. Uh, first experience uh, with a, uh, a truck this new. Not my uh, first rodeo with a truck. Uh, no pun intended, rodeo truck. Uh, but um, the nicest truck I've ever had. Uh, always thought a truck was... Uh, I don't know, kind of, uh, my name is Maynard, and this here is my truck. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's, that's what I always thought about trucks, you know, so, uh, hey, but I'm JT, and uh, this here is my truck. So, without any further ado, let's get out, and uh, so I can formally reveal this thing to you, instead of bumping my gums here in the driveway. Let's do it. I feel like I'm literally driving a cruise ship here. Oh, man. Sorry about the uh, audio, guys, but I got the windows down. Real nice uh, autumn day, cool day. We're going to run around the uh, corner here and uh, go over to the park where we can get some, uh, some nice footage for you guys. Show you guys Ramsey. Hey, guys, uh, I didn't see many comments on the uh, Cars Guys, uh, you know, merch here. Uh, the inaugural uh, T-shirt here. Uh, like I said, I've been going back and forth. Uh, with Cars Guys Corporate on this. Got a couple of good tips from uh, some fellow YouTubers, uh, which I appreciate. Uh, said that uh, the, the lettering wasn't bold enough and my actual logo here was a little small. So uh, back to the drawing board, uh, the prototypes. Uh, hey, this is just a prototype. 
but anyway guys uh like i said we're gonna go back to the drawing board and uh, get some better uh get a better logo and some more bolded text or fonts uh for the uh, lettering here guys and uh we're going to do it all over again pretty soon so uh, stick around for uh, more merch and while i got you guys uh i want to ask you guys a question um what do you guys think of uh of the name Ramsey. I mean, uh, I tried to bring the name kind of into my world. I have a, a Z06. I have a uh, 350Z. Uh, the name of my channel is uh, Cars with a Z, Guys with a Z. So I tried to keep it pretty relevant uh, to what's going on uh, with the channel. So uh, if you guys, uh, have any ideas i'm going to let you guys decide uh, going back and forth with uh, cars guys corporate and they seem to think that um rambro for whatever reason would have been the uh, better name and don't get me wrong guys uh you know some people might think that um it's a little corny to name your vehicle and in some regards it is uh but it's more for um it's more for the channel's sake and it's more for brevity than anything. And what I mean by brevity is, you know, you guys don't want to hear me say, hey, cars, guys, uh, time to jump in the 2013 Dodge 1500 Ram Laramie Edition to go out for a ride. Come on. That, that's pretentious and a little bit arrogant. And if you guys know, you've watched enough of my videos, you know, you know how I am, guys. I am far from pretentious and arrogant, so... I'd rather be corny and, and funny than than pretentious. So, Ramsey and Zeus, Dragon Ball Z, and the Unicorn, the SVX. So, that that's kind of where I'm going and where where I was headed with the, you know the naming of the vehicles. So uh, you know that's that explains that. So hey guys, we're in a pretty nice location here. It's a a park not too far from uh, where I live and uh, we're gonna get out before the Sun goes down and I'm gonna give you guys some uh, better angles and some shots and uh, actually go in the car and let you guys have a, a front seat look at uh, Ramsey hey cars guys JT here with you give me my Hemi hey hey this is it guys uh, this is the formal reveal of Ramsey my 2013 Dodge Ram 1500 uh, with the uh, 5.7 liter Hemi engine in it uh, so hey guys I told you uh, I wanted to combine the uh, episode of hunting for hoopties uh, with me actually looking for a pickup truck uh, you know trucks are cool and they're very functional uh, don't get me wrong I uh, enjoyed the strange rover strange indeed but hey great vehicle and I had a blast and I tell you what I actually lose a few style points uh, you know I went from a range rover or a strange rover to a pickup truck but hey guys when you have a house and you got to do certain things you got to got to have a vehicle that's more functional than a range rover I found myself throwing mulch in the back of it appliances and I'm folding the seats down and I'm stuffing things in in a Range Rover and it just really wasn't a practical uh, vehicle to have uh, when you're when you have a, uh, a house so so guys uh, without any further ado uh, let's walk around and look at Ramsey here in the background and uh, let me turn the camera around guys I'll take you around the vehicle here guys all the doors over for you as you can see uh, it's got black leather interior uh, clean as a whistle if you guys re if you guys recall when we first saw the vehicle while we were hunting for hoopies um, it was in pretty uh, pretty it was pretty disheveled as far as uh, cars go and uh, you had to have some foresight and uh, you had to uh, be a little bit um, uh, you had to be a little bit creative and 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 positive about how this vehicle would clean up and uh, You know, I kind of I can kind of see uh, Through kind of dirt and surface dirt and and superficial uh, uh, Junk in, in cars and stuff as long as it's nothing uh, no serious damage and I just cannot deal with a uh, smoker's car. The, the smoke kind of just permeates the inside of the vehicle, gets in the headliner, it gets into the dash, gets into the seats, especially if you have cloth seats. So 
This was not the case with this uh, vehicle. It was just a little dirty. And as you can see, let's take a closer look on the inside, guys, that uh, this vehicle cleaned up really good. And then if you look back here, here's the rear seats here. Looks like uh, they were hardly ever sat in. Uh, no tears, uh, really good shape. Uh, cleaned up the uh, carpeting really well. Uh, and here's the front, guys. Cleaned up really well. Uh, no tears on the seats. Here's the driver's seat over here. And the headliner. I've got the uh, moonroof uh, door open. As you can see, the headliner is pretty cool. And this is the Laramie package, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, forgive me uh, for uh, we're losing a little light here, but um, this is the actual Laramie package uh, for uh, 2018 and 19. The uh, top of the line Ram or the luxury Ram is a limited. They changed the name. Uh, they went from Laramie to uh, limited. As you can see here, the badge here says uh, Hemi 5.7 liter. Wheels cleaned up like like a dream. That has the chrome wheel. Cleaned up pretty good. And uh, here you have it, guys. Let's take a look on the inside, a little closer look on the inside here. And it's, I'll tell you what, it's uh, it's loaded for bear, gang. It's got uh, pretty much every imaginable uh, option. All the gingerbread. It's got the, uh, I, I'm gonna say probably a, uh, seven and a half eight inch screen for the uh, infotainment system that cracks me up cars kind of evolve over the years and uh, they get they have all kinds of different language for the uh, different things we used to just call uh, the radio right it's, it's a radio but anyway uh, here's the uh, entertainment uh, center here and uh, let's start her up it's got a push button start here <laughs> Got it started up here. And as you can see, things come on here. Nice instrument cluster here. Let you know, uh, it says press brake and turn the shifter to desired gear. This is one of the coolest features that I, that, you know, that I found uh, about the truck. It, it actually has a dial for the uh, shifter. All right, so uh, here's the inside, guys. and. Uh, cool thing about this thing is uh, it's got an Alpine stereo system. So we've got speakers everywhere. The climate control adjustment here. Got all of the different controls for here. It's got the media thing. Insert disc. It's got my phone settings. Got uh, apps. Got the radio. Pretty neat. Huge, huge console here, guys. Uh, see here I'm gonna turn the uh, turn the truck off this huge huge console here the center console for storage it's here that open up you can see down in there so this thing is uh, kind of crazy sorry about the video guys and you can see the distance between the driver and the uh, passenger here it's like uh, you know, you could actually throw another seat in here if it wasn't for the uh, center console here. Uh, plenty of storage, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like I said, beautiful leather seats, no tears. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, people are just tall enough to where they can step out of the vehicle without using the step up. But guys, if you have one of these things, I don't care if you're six foot six, you know, step up on the uh, step up here and. Uh, you know grab the grab the handle here and pull yourself in that way you're not you know stressing the uh, bolsters out here on your seats uh, getting in and out uh, that's how you can really tell when a when a used car or truck has got a really bad seat uh, particularly on the uh, bolsters here uh, the people didn't enter and exit uh, the proper way so there you go guys just a little tip and uh, as for uh, what I've done so far, guys, I've had the vehicle for um, about two weeks now, and uh, I did a couple things, just some uh, cosmetic things here. I uh, added the um, all-weather floor mats. It came with just standard carpeted mats, uh, which don't uh, 
don't kind of play out that well, especially if, when we get the inclement weather that we have coming up. So I'm gonna leave these mats in uh, all year round, kind of uh, all weather mats. And uh, hey, it's a it's a pickup truck, guys. It's not a it's not a Cadillac, not a Rolls Royce. It's a, it, it's it's a pickup. It's a pretty pickup, but it's a pickup. And I'll show you guys the other side here. But they they went in great. Yeah. Went in really nice. I left the plastic in here from uh, when they detail it, so I just put the uh, all-weather mats right on top of uh, the plastic here. And a couple of compartments for storage here, guys. As you can see, both seats. And uh, here's something neat here. It's got uh, all kinds of space here in the doors. We've got space down in here, and it's got two glove boxes, which I thought was uh, pretty cool. An upper and lower glove box. I mean, come on, it's, this thing has got all the uh, creature comforts you could ask for. Makes for, uh, makes for a pretty nice travel vehicle too. I mean, you can throw your stuff back here in the uh, bed and uh, you can probably take this on uh, long trips. It drives really smooth. And speaking of the bed, guys, it's a, a six foot bed on this one. And it's the actual uh, crew cab or quad cab I haven't figured I haven't quite figured out what kind of cab this is you know some people say crew some people say uh, quad now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong but I think I have the quad cab the crew cab is the actual larger uh, four door and it actually uh, has a full size door as opposed to this uh, smaller door anyway it's got a six foot bed it had a bed liner but it did not have a cover. So I ordered the uh, cover, and uh, easy install for the cover. It's a little dusty, but it didn't look like it was used for any kind of serious construction uh, duties, because uh, usually you can tell if a truck has been used for, um, uh, primarily used for work, this gate takes a beating, you know, sliding, sliding things in and out. Uh, so it wasn't that bad. And here, guys, like I said, I uh, added the uh, tonneau cover, and it went on pretty cool. Now, the way this tonneau cover works is it has these levers here. I don't know if you can see them. There's a lever here, and there's another lever here. Well, you pull that one down, and it's a trifold system. What happens is when you pull those two levers, this side folds up here folds up there and then it folds up again and it actually has straps here that go into here to actually hold the top so you can actually ride around with this uh, tonneau cover actually open so if you had something that was obviously taller than the uh, tonneau cover is you could actually ride around without having to remove the tonneau cover altogether but there you have it guys uh, oh threw some rubber on here the uh, dueler the Dueler uh, Bridgestones. I got the really good uh, reviews with those, and uh, I know people that actually have these tires, so uh, threw some rubber on it, and uh, there you have it, guys. Uh, I took a little heat uh, for uh, actually uh, calling the um, the feature hunting for hoopties, but that's what it is, guys. I mean, uh, I know the word hoopty gets a bad <laughs> gets a bad name, but uh, and I took a little heat for it, but hey. I have a 2015 Z06, so all my other cars are pretty much hoopties, but uh, I'm very thankful uh, for the truck, and uh, it's a great truck. High mileage, I got it for an exceptional deal. It's a 2013, didn't smell any cigarette smoke, no tears, no real scrapes and bumps and bruises on him, and um, you know, it's a really good vehicle. I got it for steel, so uh, goodbye, strange rover. Hello, Ramsey. Oh, guys, hey, I forgot to tell you. Got my uh, hitch cover here. The Ram hitch cover. So there you have it, guys. Hey, uh, hey, if this is the first time you're checking in, guys, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button and, uh, you know, share the video and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and hit that bell notification, let you know when I have future uploads. So, hey, thanks a lot for uh, hanging in there, guys, with me, and uh, thanks for going along on this uh, journey. Love you guys, uh, Cars Guys Nation. I'll see you back at the Cars Guys Lab in Ramsey. Hey, we're gonna come up, we're gonna head back to the Cars Guys Lab, and I tell you what, man, this thing is smooth as butter, and it's powerful. Oh, man, it's 5.7 Hemi, jeez. So, 
know guys, I'll see you back in the Cars Guys lab in a little bit. Uh, stick around. Hey, Cars Guys, here we are back at the Cars Guys lab. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, the official reveal of Ramsey. Huh? If you did enjoy the episode, give it a big thumbs up. And if this is the first time you're checking in, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you a part of the uh, Cars Guys Nation. And, hey, hit that bell. Let you know when I have future uploads. And remember, you're on the channel where all that matters is Cars Guys. Oh, and just an update, guys. I know I'm way behind on the Watch Out for Cars Guys event. I'm literally two months behind. So at some point in the next week or so, I'm going to actually give out two watches to two lucky subscribers. So, hey, stay tuned. And I didn't forget about you guys. So, hey, I'll see you guys in the next upload.